is it's Thursday, April 2nd, and today is lesson 13. Today you're going to start by taking your verse quiz, and um, you're going to review your verse right here. Go to your Google Classroom website and go to where it says Scripture Memory, watch that video, practice it. You'll need it for your quiz. When you're done practicing, close it up, show really amazing character, and then open up your exit ticket. Um, and then you're going to go ahead and take your verse quiz, no peeking, one word per line, and then you're going to write sentences for these. Okay? Don't forget your pattern statement. When you're done with that, your um, lesson today is just this. We're going to review right now our graphic organizers, and then I'm going to show you what to do. We have been working on a plot line. We're doing problem goal setting uh, characters. We have all these events, builds up to a climax. Uh, we have rising action, falling action, action, resolution, denouement. We added internal character responses with events, and tomorrow we're going to put all those together. Yesterday we introduced the holiday rainbow to you. There's the traits that a character has at the beginning and traits that the character has at the end. And then they're, how they're influenced goes here. They could be influenced by people or events. At the end of each lesson, you're going to have an extended response question. Uh, the first is about plot. How does the story's plot build? You're going to use race to answer that. You should be thinking, what's the problem and goal, and how do the events move toward the goal? The second question is, how is the character influenced? And that relates to the holiday rainbow. So the first one relates to the plot line, and the second question relates to the holiday rainbow. And how is the character influenced is answered in race format. You should be thinking in your head, what person or event changed the character most? This word is super important because lots of things change the character, but your answer to this one is what changed them most, okay? You are going to use a very familiar passage, guys. You're going to use this familiar passage on the prodigal son that you did on Monday. And you're going to read just this part, verses 11 through 32. It's not the whole thing. It's just this section. And then you're going to complete this visual tool in this way. Which character are we focused on today? You're going to write the prodigal son. Name at least two traits he showed at the beginning. Name at least two he showed at the end. And then you're going to write two influences in a complete sentence, something that could have influenced him for the good or for the not so good. Or both could be for good or both could be not so good. At the very end of your exit ticket, you're writing based on the prodigal son how the character is influenced. Um, think about what person or event changed the character most. And actually, I'm going to include this scripture passage um, to this ending part because you won't be able to back go back to the other um, section. So I'm going to include the scripture passage here. And then you're going to write um, how the character is influenced. So your answer is going to be um, using race. So you're going to write something like, the story's plot builds because, oh, no you're not. You're going to write, the character is influenced because, good thing I looked at this. So um, in this last part, you're going to write, um, the character is influenced by, and you're going to use the answer that you just wrote about one of the two influences. You're going to use the verses, the text, and um, make sure that you're very careful about what you write. This is not in the video. I want you to do this on your own. And type out all three sentences completely. You're going to use the prodigal son text for this. Guys, have a great rest of your day. Um, tomorrow, we are going to combine both the plot line graphic organizer with the character pieces, and we're going to combine the holiday rainbow in our text. But for today, you're really just doing the holiday rainbow, practicing with the prodigal son. And then tomorrow, we're going to do all this before the weekend. Have a great rest of your Thursday. Bye, guys.